This trip was really different from the ones we've had before. We traveled with Max's dad for once, and since we stayed for so long, we didn't play tourist and really immersed ourselves in day-to-day -day living in Florida. We got groceries, we cooked, we enjoyed the sun, the beaches, tried new things like Cuban cuisine and Cuban coffee. I honestly did not have high expectations for this trip since I hate the sun and hot weather, but I'll admit, I ended up loving every moment. For an extra cherry on top, we decided to visit Key West since it's supposed to be gay friendly and cute to visit. And did you know that key lime pie was invented in Key West? Well, now you do. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Let's try that key lime pie. Key lime pie. One for dad. Thank you. <laughs> one for the my zaddy. One for my zaddy and one for the other zaddy max. <laughs> and one for this daddy. <laughs> How's that for a key lime pie that wasn't I invented here? I think you would like this one. Because it's like creamy. Creamy coconut. so good makes my nipple hard. Okay. <laughs> I have a sunburn. Mm. Key West magnets. Which one you got? You picked it. <laughs> Is it we key? got a chicken. Key West. Because we keep hearing cucks around here, and you know how much you love cucks. Nice and yes, come. I know you love to fart, yes. Oh, it's you. <laughs> I know you do. Yeah, you're ready. It gets carried. Luxury service. I want to be carried. Get on my back. <laughs> You guys will not believe where we are. We are back in Orlando. Max loved Disney so much that he wanted to come back. Right? Did you think you would like Disney World this much? You're turning into a Disney adult. Well, I never done all the park, so I wanted to check that off my bucket list. What actually happened was, I don't know if I told you guys this, but when we arrived in Miami, we got this Airbnb right on South Beach, which is like an amazing area. But we were duped because the Airbnb looked nothing like the photo. Well, actually, it did look like the photo, but they took parts of the room that were nice and uploaded it and ignored the rest. Basically, didn't show photos of the bathrooms or didn't specify how big the room was. It was teeny tiny, and we had to share it with Max's dad. Why is you barking? I don't know. Hi, all. Quiet. After we checked in and we saw the room, we called Airbnb right away and they gave us our money back and they were like, but you guys need to leave. Because of that whole kerfuffle, they decided to give us credit, like 20% off of our booking. And with that booking money, we were able to book this Airbnb for almost next to nothing. It was still quite expensive because I feel like everywhere in Orlando or everywhere in Florida in general right now is so expensive because of all the snowbirds, people like us traveling from the harsh winters of Canada to the sunny side of Florida. So yeah, it wasn't cheap, but this Airbnb was pretty cheap. I think we paid like less than $200 for both nights here. It's simple, it's nothing fancy. That's the bathroom. At least he has two sinks. It's just a bit hot in here, the ventilation's not great. Oh my god, yeah. Like, last night, we put the AC at like 73, which is like a sensible number, I feel like. It's not overly cold. But when I woke up, it was at 80. And then last night before dinner, I had put it at 73 as well. And after dinner, I checked it and it was at 87. I don't know if the Airbnb host is like controlling it from afar, or if they have like a weird limit that they put on the thermostat, but it's really, it's really annoying me because I can't sleep unless it's like below freezing. 
No, you wanna go out? Okay, I'll take you out. Let's go. The craziest thing just happened. I just went to take Toyo out on a walk so he can do his morning poop. And when I walked down the stairs into the field out in the backyard, there were these huge birds. They were so tall and they were like yelling. They were making these like dinosaur like noises and I've never seen a bird like that in my life. It was literally taller than me and there were two of them. And I was just standing there stunned. And Toyo was there looking at them too and he was like stunned as well. He was just like frozen. I didn't get any footage of it because I didn't have my phone. But Max told me it was a crane. Like the Miyazaki film, Boy and the Heron. I was the boy in the heron. The gay in the heron. Can you do my face kiss before yeah. we go? Yeah. Look at where my adventure outfit. We're Dora the Explorers. You're Diego. I'm Dora. Oh my god, it's right there. It's over there. <gasps> There's only one of them, but there was two of them before. There are so many of these communities around Orlando. The first Airbnb we stayed in, it was like a community like this as well, but all of the units were Airbnbs. But this time around, it seems like people actually live here. So it's a lot cozier. Last time it was deserted, it was a bit scary. First coming. You love to come. Niceandyes.com. Classic one. I want the one with fur. Look, the Pirate Mickey's cool. Pirate oh, Mickey. I love Pirate Mickey. There's a five item limit per guest. I have to pick five. Really? You think that's how it works? So hungry, but it's closed. They serve Asian food though. I think I'm gonna get the, the vegetable bowl so I can poop. Max is looking for a ride for us to do while we wait for a restaurant to open. So in Asia, there's Expedition Everest, 20 minutes. Should we do that? Whatever. Yes. <laughs> right, let's get that out of the way. I did not want to do this ride first thing in the morning because my hair is going to be ruined the rest of the day. I'm doing this for you. You'll be fine. Are you Me too. That was a bad idea like first thing in the morning. <laughs> yeah. really but it was cute. It was fun. It was fun. That's me when I'm horny. <laughs> wow. It's so small though. This is the vibe. That is the vibe. Put it on your head. It's small. It goes with your outfit. It goes with yours too. It is small. <laughs> it's teeny tiny. <laughs> I want to rub too. Let's rub together. For luck. For luck. Ordering food with Max is the most stressful thing in the world every single time. <laughs> <laughs> Because every time I point at something, mm, I want that, and you're like, no, you don't need this. I don't do that. Yes, you do. And then Max gets so scared of like the waiters, the wait staff. I don't get scared. Yeah, of the you waiter. do. You get so scared because like you want one thing. Like yesterday, you're like, I want shrimp. But the wait, the wait staff was like, oh, I like the chicken. He's like, I'll get the chicken. And then after he left, you were like, oh, I wish I got the shrimp. I'm like, why did you not just get the shrimp then? There's no way I can finish that. That is like. We should have shared that. It's so big. That's what she said. Your chest is looking big. Boobs. First one from the right. Ah. It's a sign. When it's a sign of what? If I have to pick something, I have to pick the first one from the right. But I don't need fortune cookies. You're my good fortune. <laughs>
Other artists say all things that we do. Yeah. This matches Max so well. <laughs> I'm gonna ruin my hair. Yo, this one. This one's like a hundred dollars. It's in Jenna Jones hat. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a. I hate it. <laughs> hat head. Max is just out here trying hats at Animal Kingdom. Well, in all of Disney, actually. This is a colonizer. Wait, that is so cute. You look like a true colonizer. You wear it. I think it's cuter on you. No, I don't want to ruin my hair. That's right. No, no, no. Exactly. <laughs> Look, and you with your outfit as well. I don't want hat hair. You know who I remind myself of? That guy from Jumanji. Like the hunter. <laughs> That's basically it. Yeah. I'm gonna colonize you, MaxandGals.com. Where are we going? Tarzan. Did Last you... time I came here, Tarzan was so cute. You just want to see a muscular shirtless guy. We just found out that Tarzan is no longer at Walt Disney World. He's no longer doing meet and greets. We paid all this for nothing. I'm just gonna show it to you guys what he looked like. He looked like this. He's bigger than I thought. Someone had That's what she said. I'm full. <laughs> Throw away. I want to take a photo of us biting it together. I was sent by a friend to try this drink. Looks pretty gay. It looks incredibly gay. It's called the Himalayan Ghost. No, it's called the Himalayan Gay. It's good. Sweet. Yeah. Right We just arrived in Pandora. Look at that thing. I mean you. <laughs> I could live here. Really? I thought everything wants to kill you on Pandora. We are such Disney amateurs. So we're at Pandora now. They have two big rides. And this is like the biggest ride in Animal Kingdom right now is in Pandora, like the two Avatar rides. Their wait is 90 minutes and 65 minutes. It is now, what time? 5 p.m. and the park closes at 7. So we can't technically line up for both. So if you enter the lane right before the park closes, they have to finish the whole lane. Okay, so do you want to wait an hour for the other one? Which We'll ride it at 6, and then we'll have to run for this one. They also have an option where you can buy a lightning lane for $14 each, and we can skip the line. Oh, do we really want to pay just to skip an hour and a half? Yes, maybe. <laughs> but $30, it's $30. Your 90 minutes can become 5 minute wait. Okay, let's do it. Right? If you're down, I'm down. If you go, I go. Oh my god, what a waste of money. We love wasting money here. $30 on top of like 300 something dollars that we already paid to get a ticket. They get you in those attraction park and also the food is so expensive and the drinks. You gotta try it at least once in your life, I guess. Okay, so I, I like how you it. cut my head right there. Oh, right sorry. In the middle. Okay, do it. I'll let you. It's your decision. No. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's bought. You cannot be trusted with money. You buddy! <laughs> Does it light up? <laughs> I 
<laughs> this giving me an idea for a web. No. no. <laughs> you want to have a tail? <laughs> Would you want to do it as avatars? No. And we paint ourselves blue? Something very not sexy about well, avatar. <laughs> you can have avatar here. Alright, we'll come back. I'm gonna get the fucking I think I'm good. <laughs> What do you think about this ride? That was kind of a letdown. I'm so glad we didn't pay for Lightning Lane for that one. It was so short. Like cool animatronics, but like felt like something is missing. Oh, it totally. Be, it could be longer. I mean, it was cute. It was like romantic vibes, mm -hmm. but like I wouldn't wait more than 30 minutes for it, which is how much we ended up waiting for. Yeah. Romantic, I was rubbing your legs, holding your hand. This is a tree of life that will one day give us a baby. <laughs> We're expecting soon. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's go worship the tree to give us the seed that will create life. The seed of life inside of us. Inside of me. Omegaverse. Max is stuck <laughs> taking photos for this cute lady. This is her fourth pose. I'm not even joking you right now. Oh, and they're doing another one. Oh my god, I love her. <laughs> oh, they're, they're doing another one. I hope she tips him. There's a place on the map, it says Isle of Java, and that's where I'm from. I'm from the Java Island, East Java specifically. I want to know what it is. Is it just a coffee shop or what is it? I think it's this. Oh my god, that's it? That's all Indonesia gets? <laughs> it's not even open. It was Brazil coffee. Okay. You guys, what do you call that Isle of Java? We don't even sell any of these in Indonesia. <laughs> these don't even exist there. Well, the frogs are kind of cute, I guess. That's kind of fun. Max is a drummer. Come on, Max, show us your skills. No, it doesn't work exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't follow exactly the time. <laughs> Last ride of this trip, finally. No, it's not the last ride. I'm the last ride. Isn't it fun? Like Disney World is pretty much lining up <laughs> for rides. Okay, Dr. Stevens, they're ready. Can everyone see me? No. Our belongings in those beds. We want to make sure we're sliding all the way forward in our seats. So, what are your impressions about this ride? Stunning. That was a good end. Right. I could fly. Breathtaking. Yeah. But not as breathtaking as you. <laughs> when you enter the ride, there's like this scent. It smelled like, the best way I can describe it is like a nostalgic toy store. My nose is kind of stuffed, so you smell everything. Yeah, I smell it. It like took me back to childhood. It smelled good. After for Tim Park, I finally find the best ears. You like these ones? <laughs> it's too late. You don't even like cat. No, I like B-Max. <laughs> you like B-Max. What do you got here? Pins. Oh, they're cute. I like the buzz. And Baby Pooh is also cute. It's kind of your bite. Isn't it? You glow in the dark. Do a TikTok dance. I don't know any. Try one. No. <laughs>